Amazing advancements in technology in recent years have led to some terrifying robots currently in development. With those advancements come new opportunities that we never before thought possible. Robots today are capable of going to the furthest reaches of the planet, communicate like humans, and even learn. But as anyone who has watched the Terminator movies can tell you, this could be just as scary a prospect as it is exciting. Nowadays, we have robots that can outrun us, outsmart us, and even some that can kill us if they tried. As AI improves each year, it may not be long before they think for themselves. I'm Mike with List25, and make sure to remember their names, because some of the machines might just take over the world someday. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell. It really helps us out. Twenty-five. Reem is a full-sized humanoid service robot capable of acting as a guide, receptionist, entertainer, and even gives speeches or presentations in multiple languages. Uh-oh. Its manufacturers, Power Robotics, state that their goal with Reem is to provide a friendly, interactive information source that can be used in malls, airports, hospitals, and other public locations. That said, I wouldn't blame you for being cautious about approaching this robot, as its blank, mouthless face and three-fingered hands are enough to put anyone off. That's racist. <laughs> Towards robots. 24. The Ghost Swimmer is an unmanned underwater vehicle designed to mimic a shark or other large fish swimming through the water. This unassuming disguise allows it to perform subaquatic reconnaissance and surveillance at depths of up to 300 feet while staying hidden in ways a submarine couldn't. For this reason, the US Navy plans to eventually use the Ghost Swimmer to discreetly monitor the oceans without endangering human lives. 23. Another robotic design based off of a living animal, the robotic ants are, as the name suggests, inspired by ants. These insectoid robots are autonomous, meaning they can function on their own and react to stimuli around them in real time. However, just like ants, these robots are much more focused on the group than the individual. They're able to communicate and coordinate with other robotic ants nearby in order to solve complex problems. So it may not be too far in the future that you'll be seeing entire swarms of tiny robotic insects running about. You're welcome. 22. The dictionary definition of Uncanny Valley, engineers created this childlike humanoid robot with one thing in mind, to test the learning capabilities of AI. Designed at the Osaka University in Japan, CB2 has been built with the ability to recognize facial expressions and gestures and derive meaning from such things, much like how a human infant would. The lead scientist on the project has claimed one of their goals was to teach CB2 human language, and that he believed that there would be a whole new race of robo-humans living alongside real humans sometimes in the future. 21. Roughly the size of a small mule, Big Dog is a military-funded robot produced by the Google-owned company Boston Dynamics. It has the ability to carry up to 100 pounds and cross rough terrains that would be impossible for a robot on wheels, making it a useful pack mule for soldiers. Being Boston Dynamics' first quadrupedal robot, the technology of Big Dog has changed drastically over time, and it has become the basis of which many future robots would be modeled after. 20. I don't think I have to explain what makes the T-8X so terrifying. Just the fact that it's a giant robotic spider is scary enough on its own. The appearance isn't everything, though. This robot has been programmed to move and behave exactly like a real spider would, upping the creepiness tenfold. Luckily, the T-8X is only a remote-controlled toy, but the company behind the T-8X, aptly named Robugtix, has a number of new spider bots in the works. Bigger, more autonomous, and even more terrifying. 19. Asimo is a humanoid service robot currently being developed by Honda Robotics. The Asimo project started all the way back in 2000, and today it's one of the more advanced humanoid robots in the world, with the ability to recognize faces, voices, and gestures, and it can autonomously decide how to respond, such as waving or shaking an offered hand. 18. 
Created by Boston Dynamics, this six-legged robot excels at traversing rough terrain, such as rocks, mud, sand, vegetation, and snow. This versatility, along with R. Hex's completely waterproof body, makes this little insectoid robot one of the most successful machines for surveying or reconnaissance in hard-to-reach, dangerous locations. Extensive testing by the U.S. government has found that it's capable of going pretty much anywhere. Like, into your nightmares. <laughs> No, it's true. <laughs> 17. The bionic flying fox moves, flies, and resembles the animal from which it gets its name in every way, except for one. It has a body length of more than two feet long and a wingspan of nearly seven and a half feet, all while barely cracking one pound. The robot is autonomous in the air, though it still needs assistance taking off or landing. It can compare data from each flight to a database and learn the most efficient way for it to travel. 16. MIT's new Cheetah 3 robot is not only capable of galloping over rough terrain, climbing stairs, and leaping over 30 inches in the air, but also doing all of that without the use of any cameras or environmental sensors whatsoever. Although the engineers do intend to eventually add working sensors, the robot's ability to operate uneven terrain completely blind could make it the perfect candidate to head into environments where vision could be unreliable. 15. At first glance, you may not have realized the woman in the middle of this picture is actually not a real woman at all, or even a real human for that matter. That's actually Actroid F, an experimental android created by Osaka University's Hiroshi Ishiguro with the goal of creating the most lifelike android possible. Actroid F can speak, blink, recognize facial expressions, and react at their own discretion. Though impressive, they have more work ahead of them to overcome the pesky, uncanny valley. 14. Short for Protection Ensemble Test Mannequin, Petman is a humanoid military robot designed to mimic the movement and behavior of a human soldier to test the next generation of military apparel and safety equipment. It can walk, run, crawl, and even sweat like a human. In the future, it could be deployed autonomously for search and rescue operations within dangerous areas. It's one thing. I, sweaty robot. All right. Well, maybe it's to make it seem... It's probably to test whether or not those clothing and stuff can handle sweat, but it's still a sweaty robot. 13. Another Boston Dynamics robot developed for military use, the Legged Squad Support System, or LS3, is an automated quadrupedal robot funded by the US military that can be used as a robotic mule of sorts. Capable of autonomously following its leader, understanding simple voice commands, and carrying over 400 pounds of payload, LS3 were used by the Marines for some time before they were eventually retired because of their loud noise and extreme weight, over 1,300 pounds. Still, future updates to the machine could put it back in use, and it has since helped Boston Dynamics improve upon their many other quadruped robots. 12. Created by German software developer Tobit Software, these pole dancing robots were featured at the CBIT Expo in Hanover in 2014, and more recently at a gentleman's club in Las Vegas during the 2018 Consumer Electronics Show. Though the robots are comparatively simple to some of the others on this list, they definitely weren't any less unnerving with their robotic dance moves and security camera heads. One thing's for certain though, whenever the robot revolution does come to fruition at some point in the future, us humans are going to have a lot to answer for. Sexy pole dance. Are you going to... Ow! Are you throwing nickels at me? I don't have any ones! Ow! These are mine now. Ow! Oh, they're all quarters. Well, yeah, I need to pay the tolls. Not anymore. Oh, no! How many did you throw at me? You got them all. You threw three? Yes. Now give them back. Uh-oh. How did I miss all of them? <laughs> 11. The Flick Flack Spider found in the deserts of Morocco is known for its ability to cartwheel itself away from danger. Yep. Allowing it to move over twice as fast as would normally be able to walk, provided the terrain is even. God, I wish that's how we escape from danger. 
even if you don't think that's terrifying already, the engineers over at Festo decided to make a robot that does the exact same thing. The spider-like bionic wheelbot is capable of switching between a walking and rolling mode, allowing it to quickly roll across even surfaces, as well as cross more difficult terrain. Ah, more difficult terrain than even surfaces? <laughs> 10. A size down version of Boston Dynamics' big dog, Spot trades in some of the strength and power of his older brother to become faster, more versatile, and able to function indoors and in tight spaces. A popular video on Boston Dynamics' website demonstrates how the machine can stabilize itself and stand up on its own after engineers repeatedly kick it to the ground. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. It's just a test video showing how impressive the robot is. But I can't shake the feeling that one day the mechanical hound is going to snap and decide to take revenge. 9. The Modular Advanced Armed Robotic System, or MARS for short, is an unmanned robot developed specifically for use in the military. And it's already begun sparking debates on the ethicality of using robots as machines for killing in war. The Mars robot can be outfitted with satellite tracking systems, day and night cameras, a hostile fire detection system, and a smorgasbord of weapons, both lethal and non-lethal, that can be operated remotely. Yes, but can it dance sexily? Eight. Atlas is an advanced humanoid robot currently being developed by Boston Dynamics. Originally based off the technology used in Petman, Atlas has taken on a life of his own and has proved himself capable of running, jumping, standing up on his own if he's knocked over, crossing difficult terrain including snow, and even doing a backflip. Still, Atlas has a long way to go, and who knows what he'll be capable of in the future. Love, emotions, feeling. Seven. If you think this giant rideable mech would be at home in a Japanese anime or manga, then the lead designer and artist Kogoro Kurata did his job well. Inspired by the anime he watched as a kid, Kogoro contacted Suidobashi Heavy Industry to create Karatas, a robotic behemoth that stands 13 feet tall, weighs approximately 5 tons, and has a number of attachments, including a rotating BB minigun, a rocket launcher, and a surprisingly dexterous human hand. 6. Although not quite as fast as its smaller precursor, Cheetah, Wildcat brings that speed out of the laboratory and into the real world. Wildcat holds the record for the fastest free-running quadrupedal robot at 19.8 miles per hour, and it can maintain its speed and stability while maneuvering and turning corners. The engineers at Boston Dynamics hope to eventually have Wildcat running at speeds of 50 miles per hour or more, and they have the financial backing of none other than DARPA to make sure they have whatever it takes to meet their goals. 5. Sophia is a social humanoid robot that uses advanced AI to interact with humans, even going so far as to processing her own speech and understanding and mimicking human facial expressions and behaviors. Her creators, Hanson Robotics, believe she is the first step to creating truly sentient AI. She's already become the first robot to receive full citizenship in a country. Although she is still far from being real artificial life, Sophia's existence has definitely started to blur the line between human and machine, if only slightly. 4. Created by the Norwegian robotics company of the same name, the Iolume is a serpent-like robot designed to be used deep underwater to monitor and repair deep sea cables and irrigation tubes that wouldn't be accessible to divers or submarines. While that's all well and good, it doesn't explain why one of the first prototypes of the robot needed to be painted a terrifying jet black with glowing red eyes. Yeah, real funny guys. Luckily, the newest models have been brightened up a little bit. But even so, just the knowledge that these mechanical sea snakes might soon be slithering through the oceans all around the world should be enough to keep you from going back to the beach anytime soon. 3. One of Boston Dynamics' newest and most ambitious projects, Handle is a strange alien-looking robot that stands 6.5 feet tall and can skate around on wheels at speeds up to 9 miles an hour, or drop to all fours in order to traverse over any terrain in its path. Even the robot's own creators describe Handle as nightmare-inducing. 
That's comforting. Two. At 13 feet tall and weighing over one and a half tons, Hankook Mirai Technologies Method 2 is the world's first manned bipedal robot, and it looks like it came straight out of a futuristic sci-fi movie. Currently, Method 2 is still tethered to its testing facility in South Korea, while its creators work out the many kinks in its design. However, it's only a matter of time before it's walking on its own without the restraints of its safety harness. The immediate plan for the robot is to help humans safely work in dangerous locations, such as the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster area. But one of the long-term uses could be the deployment along the border between North and South Korea to hopefully discourage any hostility between the neighbors. I've been there. You discouraged hostility? I did. Look, guys. Robot! Sorry, I was like, guys, let's be friends. One. Just as Spot was a miniaturized version of Big Dog, Spot Mini, that's an original name, is a miniaturized version of Spot. Who would have guessed? Designed to be smaller, quieter, and more energy efficient, Spot Mini is made to be able to maneuver around your office or home. It also comes with an attachable arm fitted with a lobster-esque grasping claw, giving it an unnerving dinosaur-like appearance. So, what do you think about the future of robots? Are you excited or worried? Let us know in the comments below, or tweet your answer to us at list25. I'm excited. Me too. I hope we get droids like C-3PO and R2-D2. That's That'd be amazing. Be That's probably... November? Yeah. Exactly. Sweet. I've been enjoying watching Sophia's progress. Okay. I'm a robot. I'm trying to... I'm Sophia. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button on the bottom right and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.